Okay, uh, thank you so much for uh, coming here. Um, as you can see, the session's about uh, sponsor highlights and recruitment fair. What we'll have is um, um, all of our esteemed sponsors come up here, sort of, you know, um, present about their company uh, and if they have any recruitment opportunities and what it what it is, what is it like to you know work with them um, for about three to five minutes each, right? So we've got um, about six seven sponsors here. Um, you can of course reach out to them at their booths outside as well later on, um, and. With this, let's get started. So first of all, we'll have Marcelo from Pyrantec. So Pydentic is, uh, was, uh, I'm gonna have to explain because now I really don't know who knows or not. So Pydentic was, is a Python uh, package. Uh, it's within the 100 more downloaded ones. It's used for data validation. And since last year, we got a funding and then uh, we created the company with the same name. And now we are developing our first product called Logfire. Uh, it's an observability tool, and we are looking for some people to help us uh, uh, ah. <laughs> to help us on this uh, adventure. So we have three roles. Uh, none of them are Python developers. So, <laughs> but my boss told me <laughs> my boss told me that people might have friends that might be interested on those roles, or maybe someone wants to switch career or something. So uh, we need someone to help us to keep track on what we're doing. We have a lot of smart people, and they are, get confused on what to do. They they are doing something, and then they improve the performance of other stuff that are completely unrelated. So we need someone to help us uh, to keep focus on on what you're supposed to do, so our technical program manager. Uh, and we also are looking for a principal developer, database infrastructure in Rust. Uh, yeah, I don't code in Rust, but uh, we are looking for a Rust developer, if you know someone. And also a designer, we don't have a QR code yet because we just thought uh, about the role uh, relationally, but we're gonna create the the, the blog post, uh, the, the job post today. But you can already, if you are interested in being a, a UI designer with focusing on developer, uh, well, uh, user experience, then we have also the designer role. You can email at careers at bydentic.dev. That's it, thank you. All right, uh, thank you very much, Marcelo. Um, next, we're gonna have ClickHouse. So we've had a lot of practice explaining this <laughs> for one and a half days. Hopefully we do a good job. So ClickHouse, uh, it's, a, it's a database. Uh, it's a database for analytics. It's generally where people are storing lots of data, tens of billions, tens of billions, hundreds of billions of rows, and doing some sort of aggregation queries over it. Um, that is more or less what it is. Um, and, and then what we've been showing people here is a library called CHDB, uh, which allows you to run ClickHouse in process in Python. So if you want to build like a, got a standalone application, you can do that. And then, so, I mean, the coolest thing about working there, so is, is it's a remote company, so if you like that, it's a pretty good place uh, to work. People are sort of spread all over the place. There's a headquarters in San Francisco, there's an office in Amsterdam. I'm in the UK, Robert's in Germany, and Oxen over here, uh, taking a picture of us is, uh, is in Singapore. So, and there are, I think, our colleague was saying there were 27 countries, so there's 24 other ones than that. Uh, we have, a, well, we, we ha we've <laughs> done the same as Pedantic, so we've got our, our little QR code in the corner. There are jobs in lots of different areas. Again, it's not a, it's not a Python company specifically, but yeah, we, we have Python drivers and people use, uh, use Python to use ClickUs. I don't know, anything else? Yeah, we are primarily a database company. We have a big code base um, written in C++. So if you're interested in algorithms, data structures, high performance, low level code, that's the place to be. It's really an exciting company. And I work there, and I really personally enjoy working there, so. Cool, thank you for, <laughs> for letting us have our one minute. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, ClickHouse. Um, next, we're gonna have DLT. Yeah. So I'm, I'm Ansan, I'm from DLT Hub. Uh, we are a Python shop, uh, so <laughs> um, it's a small startup heading from Berlin. Uh, DLT is a Python library uh, that you can drop in, into your Python uh, scripts to automate a bunch of data engineering, data processing stuff. Uh, so what it does, it will connect to some source of your choice, like a database, a REST API, or whatnot. 
extract the data, normalize it, and prepare it for loading uh, for some into a destination. Uh, what we're and if it's just a sh short uh, short description. If you're interested, we have a booth, so please go, go and talk to us. Uh, we're hiring uh, for right now it's two roles. Right for for the two roles. Uh, currently, it's on site in Berlin, but so if you're happy to move to uh, to Berlin, we're welcome. Please do scan the code and apply for Workable. And uh, yeah, also in partnership with. Uh, Clickhouse and DeepNote, we're having an after, after party today. So uh, please sign up and uh, come visit us at the after party. Uh, is anyone, uh, do anyone know, need it uh, to scan the code for Workable yet? No? <laughs> then yeah. concentrate on this, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you, guys. Next up, we have Kiwi. Hello, my name is Michal, and I work at Kiwi as an engineering lead for almost six years already. To introduce Kiwi, we are a global travel tech company. We built innovative products for travelers, mostly in Python, and uh, the main selling point is probably that we aggregate content of airlines which doesn't cooperate, and we build these unique itineraries where you cannot really find elsewhere. We have currently uh, approximately 1,000 employees uh, across the globe, <clears throat> located in uh, six uh, offices in the Europe and also remote. And our search engine needs to handle 100 million requests per day, which results in approximately 50,000 sold seats per day. And uh, what I, as an engineer, probably value the most about Kiwi is that it's a global business, but still with the startup heart and uh, dynamics. Also working with the latest tech, involving a lot of Python, and uh, probably being close to the product that when I go for a vacation, I can be in the shoes of a traveler and see like how the product I built works. And now I will pass the word to my colleague Milos to um, give you more info about the concrete roles we have at the moment. Thank you, Cipro, for an interesting introduction. Hi, everybody. I'm Milos. I'm a recruiter or talent acquisition specialist in Kiwicom. Uh, so I would like to get get you through the couple of roles we have opened in Kiwicom. So the first one is Python engineer for our fintech tribe. Uh, what we are looking for is uh, especially experience with async I/O to to run uh, asynchronous tasks in uh, combination with Celery. Uh, what is important for us is the communication ability uh, to, and, and the ability to translate the business requirements to technical solutions. Uh, the team or the tribe is divided to two parts. One is acquiring, so it is basically uh, the uh, implementation of payment methods uh, in cooperation with big players like Apple Play, Revolut, Barclays, and so on. And the second part of the tribe is uh, fraud protection. So the guys are trying to uh, basically invite some smart routing mechanism to prevent uh, fraudulent uh, payments going through. Uh, we have uh, two locations possible for this role. So it's basically Prague and Brno here in Czech Republic. And it's a mid-level engineering role. So uh, I would say two to five years of experience should, should do it. Uh, more senior role uh, would be engineering manager for our customer support systems. So what is challenging within this role is that we are trying to implement AI uh, within our customer support and uh, uh, workforce manage management systems. And uh, it uh, should help us to basically uh, delegate the tasks both to human and AI agents uh, for, who, who are taking care of the customers uh, during their flights, during their trips. Uh, team is a uh, size of uh, 7 to 12 colleagues, and obviously we need a people management, exper uh, people management experience, uh, software design and architecture experience, and uh, location-wise, location uh, we are able to hire you in Prague but no, or Barcelona. Uh, please make sure you follow the link uh, uh, or follow the code, QR code, to join us uh, in our community code.kiwi.com. And below you can see also the QR code for the jobs.kiwi.com where you can find additional roles like uh, 
Android, iOS developer, uh, staff software engineer for Golang for our search backend, or I don't know what, what else we have there. Uh, head of data science, for example. Cloud security, as well, I Cloud security engineer, too. So please check it out. Anybody? And yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Kivi. Uh, now we get to Numberly, which is also one of the oldest sponsors of EuroPython. Uh, so a great round of applause. <laughs> thank you. Hello, guys. So I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about Numberly and uh, its general love for uh, EuroPython and Python in general. Um, so I have a few slides from uh, corporate here, but I'm going to skip over them and just tell you uh, what I think. So. Uh, <laughs> so Numberly is a mar data marketing company, that is our core business, but what essentially you need to know is that we are very technical, uh, we are generally, I think, good people, and um, we have offices spread across the globe, but most of our offices are in Paris, we have a few full remote positions. I personally work from uh, Canada, so if you are looking to work in a different place, it's okay with us. And we, even though we are French, we do speak English. I know it's rare, but uh, I promise it's true. <laughs> um, so yeah, Numberly really loves your Python. I would like to uh, thank the organizers here for doing a great job every year. Thank you guys. Uh, we look forward to you know attending this conference every year uh, and having a good time. So thank you. Um, so what you need to know about uh, Numberly and uh, Numberly's tech is uh, we like our independence. Uh, we are not vendor locked in uh, most of our uh, uses. We are our own network service provider and most of our storage and compute uh, is uh, in our bare metal servers which uh, we uh, manage ourselves. Obviously we don't have our own data center but you know who knows maybe in the future. Um, Numberly also likes to uh, work on open source. Uh, we are not a uh, very, very big contributor, but we open source stuff from time to time, so don't hesitate to go on the Numberly GitHub and uh, check out uh, some of the tools that we've uh, given back to the community. Um, if you're looking uh, to see what else Numberly does in terms of tech, you can go on our tech blog, uh, you'll find it here, or you can find it on the big QR code on our stand. Uh, don't hesitate to go to the stand, by the way. Um, we have a game going on, and uh, you can get a little leaflet with um, all the positions we have open. We currently have positions open for front-end uh, uh, full-stack developers, back-end developers, data engineers, and uh, DevOps. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great EuroPython. Thank you, Numberly. Now we, uh, we move to Optiver. And we have Nico with uh, a suspiciously large bag of socks. So, hello, yeah, I'm Nico, um, I'm a tech lead in Optiver, and I think something I wanted to start first, I, yeah, thank you Numerly for sponsoring EuroPython for so long, and also thank you Optiver, I think I, I, I work there, I really like Optiver as a sponsor for the last five years, and, and that's uh, really nice to see uh, how we support Python community. This is uh, a subset of the people that are behind the conference. Uh, you have Ruby sitting there, uh, Theo, they are from our recruitment team. I, I joined, and Samet, who is doing a talk tomorrow in the, in the afternoon. Um, and the most important thing I would say is everyone goes to a stand, really nice socks, guys. Uh, I love them, but who, who, who has hoped here? <laughs> I, I, it's like, oh, I, I saw you last year, you were here, but what are you guys doing, right? Okay, so I, I would like to give a summary and, and, and I think it's also a way for me to explain why Optior is an interesting place. So Optior is a trading company. We trade with our own money. We, we don't have customers. We are market makers. So that means that we partner with exchanges, all the biggest exchanges uh, around the globe. Um, we are in the market offering uh, buying or selling uh, different instruments, right? So if you are in the other side, you go connect to any of the exchanges or these modern apps like Robinhood. <clears throat> and you're buying or selling, selling something, probably Optior is in the other side selling or, or buying from you, right? So we add liquidity to the market, we, and we have a commitment to have like uptime, right? To be always <laughs> available, and even if prices are going crazy, we are there offering and ready to sell or to buy, right? And, and we do that all around, all around the globe. We have offices in the US, in Europe, in Asia, uh, so um, I'm participating in exchanges in all those places. Um, and, 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 and then 
what that means is that we trade, we have people, humans, trading old school, screaming, you know, in the trading floor in, in some exchange in the US saying, I want, this is my price. We, we work from there to really low latency, custom hardware, FPGA, nanoseconds of response, right? And that's what makes Optiver really, really fun. For me, I always try to say, yeah, my job is a bit full stack because I have to go from really high level abstractions and in you know, machine learning uh, models, et cetera, processing a lot of data to, oh, how we make this cable 10 centimeters shorter so we, ha we gain half a nanosecond, right? So that's a really interesting uh, exposure to, to, to many different layers. And we also have to build our own data centers because exchanges are not running in the cloud. So many of our things are like just provisioning our infrastructure and being able to manage uh, that. Talking about career opportunities, yeah, we have a, we do a lot of, all our, our infrastructure is managed with Python. Uh, so we, we have a lot of software engineers open for software infra. For data, production engineering, that's a bit more people like kind of SRE, maybe you can compare. So people manage our, our production environment. C sharp engineers, enterprise, that's, that's a bit more, I don't know, the day to day life of, uh, of the tools that we use as developers. We have a team that is managing those things. Networking engineers are really, really interesting challenges, as I say, like from a lot of data to really low latency, and those problems are really different. And if you go to our Discord or scan the, the, the code that we have in the, in the boot, you will see many other options. Um, we have a really nice office. This is our Amsterdam office, uh, and it's in Renew, so I, and this, this is probably uh, outdated, but it's, uh, it's closed, so I don't know the new version. But yeah, something important is we, we work on site. We don't, we don't have remote positions, so, but we do offer relocation packages, right? So if anyone is interested to relocate to Amsterdam, to, or maybe Chicago, I don't know, or Austin, or, or other cities, but so we have, for Amsterdam in particular, we have a relocation package. The company will take care of everything on the paper. I relocated from Argentina and it was really easy, so that's a, a, something that is good to know. We had the best coffee probably. Our baristas are like <laughs> European champions baristas, so that's something that gives you a good reason to go to, to the office every day. Um, uh, we want to show you, okay, how is, how is our application process? Oh, it's not, as, as you know, processes are a bit long, yeah, but this is a bit what you see. You have like a maybe first, First assessment, you send a proposal, we, you will do a first interview with a recruiter, then we do some technicals and some design interviews, and then we take you to Amsterdam to have a final day, see the office, see the city, uh, and, and meet the people face to face and do the final day interviews there. Um, so that, that, that's a bit of our current process. And yeah, so you can scan that QR code and, and, uh, and send your data and we will contact you, and also feel free to go to our to our boot, uh, Ruby is there, uh, and, and you can talk to us. And I have a bunch of socks for anyone that wants one. Uh, best socks in town. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs>